will be fun to watch. And they start against the energy line for the Blackhawks. Ryan Carpenter, Zach Smith, and Alex Nylander with Eric Gustafson and Connor Murphy. Oh, good job there by Kubelik to push Carlo back and open up. Oh, and here's Kajula with a shot that is sealed up by Halak. Turn try that came from Charlie Coyle failed. Penalty time is up. Cuckoo out of the box again as Coyle is able to glide around behind. Then swing one across. Krejci with a shot and Leonard got that one. Out of 12. As well they should. This is about the fourth or fifth cross seam play in this period for the Bruins. Oh. And yeah, Krejci oh. wasn't able to get it off right away, but still, this is sensational by Robin Leonard. Second effort to get across, gets the glove up. What a tremendous save here by Robin Leonard. But into a black hawk by Chara, that was Doc. Sent back along for the keep by Patrick Kane. Flings one around in front, Doc tried to force it in. Another time he's It is to break it, and it is one nothing. Kane keeps the play alive, gets it to the net, and then Dabrinkit's able to gather the loose change. His ninth power play goal of the season for Alex Dabrinkit to give the Hawks a 1-0 lead. Well, Brad Marchand had a chance to get this puck out here. He tries to make a play off the boards and then skate into it, but he doesn't get it out. It's kept in by Kane, and then he makes the quick recognition to get it to Dock in front. And the brink of he was trying to set up on a direction redirection by Bjork. Played back in deep again by Grizzly. Corrali able to fight his way from two. Then to the outside. Here's Corrali with Shetty scores! Sean Corrali! And it is tied at one. Well, we talked about this line in the first period. Wins a battle, gets some separation, gets a little pick there from Coyle. And I think this one is where Robin Leonard would like this one back. I'm not sure if it changes direction at all. Looks like Leonard sees it. It finds its way back, but Corrali, with the extra effort, is rewarded and gets the puck to the back of the net. Got ahead by Crew, got by one, finessed it on through while falling. Still up for grabs. Crew's gonna go. He shoved down Mata, and here's a shot. Score! The penalty happens right there. That's the penalty. Hand pass to the stick. Is that why the whistle went? They thought it was a hand pass? We didn't hear that. That wasn't the explanation. But it looked like it went from the hand to the stick. Watch Mata. He gets knocked down. Hand. Boy, that yeah. replay you couldn't tell. So I think that's why the whistle happened because of the hand pass. And I think that's why, again, the referee didn't give the explanation of why he blew the whistle. So again, we're speculating, but certainly I think that's what it was. But I think yeah, on that low level look. That's directed away. Drive by Keith. And that's sent away by Char. Another shot at the horn, and that fell down. Puck would not settle down for Tory Krug. It was rolling the whole way. Krejci able to bring it back in. He's got DeBrusque with him. Gave it on to DeBrusque. And one in front. They score! The Bruins win it in overtime. Charlie McAvoy. McAvoy with his first goal of the year. Just after the power play to the Blackhawks had ended. And the Bruins have won it and taken over first place in the league for time a huge penalty kill four against three the bruins kill it off and then at four on four mcavoy goes right to the blue paint and debrus puts it right on his tape five straight wins for the bruins